Well, today we're talking about the Thermodrop zipper pull thermometer that's taking the world by storm. And you're watching Andy Parrish Outdoors. Well, hey, everybody, Andy here, and thanks for joining me today. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, welcome. Here at Andy Parish Outdoors, we do everything, backpacking, gear, outdoor adventures, tips and tricks, you name it. If you're into that sort of thing, go ahead and subscribe. Click that notification bell. That way you can be alerted every time I post new content. There's a lot of content coming, and you don't want to miss out, do you? Do you really want to miss out? You don't want to miss out. So go ahead and click that notification bell. Well, today we're going to talk a little bit about the thermal drop thermometer, why it seems to be so popular and uh, sweeping the nation, sweeping the world. Let's get into it. So if you've been watching any kind of outdoor adventure, backpacking kind of, you know, videos on YouTube and around the internet, you probably have seen this thing pop up uh, in the videos. And, and maybe you've noticed it, maybe you haven't, but I've definitely seen them pop up all over the place. And it's kind of taken the world by storm, uh, which is kind of funny of all things for a thermometer, because, you know, it's not like it's the most important backpacking device on the planet or something, but yet I've seen it all over the place. So I was really curious what the big deal was and went and picked one up uh, the middle of last year and had a chance to try it out a few times. And it's got some good things going for it. And I've actually really liked uh, having it with me on trail. And there's there's a drawback or so, but for the most part, it's, it's a really neat little piece of uh, kit. So let's talk a little bit about its pros and its cons. Well, if we're talking about what's good about this thing for backpacking, I, I love that it's just tiny, you know, the form factor, it's, it's really, really small. So, you know, <laughs> they advertise it as a zipper pull, like, like I would ever wear it, like just, you know, on your, on your fleece or something that's just bouncing around all day. That would probably drive me nuts, but it is small enough um, that you don't really notice the extra weight or anything like that, bringing it on trail. It's not getting in the way of anything. It's not taking up a lot of space. Um, you know, I've connected it to a little S beaner and I clip it to the outside of my pack. So when I stop to take a water break or, or, you know, take the pack off for a little bit or get to camp, you know, this is visible as I set the pack down, it's right there on the outside. And if I want to take a look and see what the temperature is, it's, it's super convenient. And then I can just unclip it, you know, clip it to my tent to my hammock, whatever shelter I'm using. And, you know, I've got something throughout the night that's just going to record and, and show me what the temperature is. So I, I really like just the form factor and how easy it is to use. Um, it's a single button, so you can turn it on, you can turn it off. Um, it, uh, it rotates uh, the temperature, you know, based on how you orient it. Um, it also, if you hold down the button, uh, it will go to your max and min mode. So you can see what the high has been over the last 24 hours and the low has been over the last 24 hours. And I find that super convenient. Um, it can do Fahrenheit. It can do Celsius. Um, it's got a backlight, you know, that's kind of neat too, that you can just light it up. Um, you're sitting in your tent at night and it's dark. You don't have to get your headlamp out or anything. You just hit the button and it illuminates. So lots of little things that uh, are positives. Now, I also like that it's, it's you know, uh, weather protected. It's an uh, IP67 rating. So, you know, if you're going to get splashes on this and, and rain, it's not going to bother it. So you don't have to worry about, you know, it water getting inside and, you know, killing it or whatnot. It's, it's you know, impervious to the splashes and, and splatter that you might get. Um, you know, hike along trail. Um, it also has a pretty wide temperature range. It uh, registers from negative 13 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about negative 25 degrees Celsius, all the way up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 50 degrees Celsius. So a huge range of possibilities. Um, you know, I'm taking it down sub zero, that's fine. Um, you know, you're going to be 100 degrees out in the middle of the desert, it's going to work for you there too. Now, I already mentioned that I love that it's so tiny and, and small and, and packable and lightweight. It, it comes in at, you know, 14 grams. So it, it is really, really light. But the screen is still reasonably large and fairly easy to read. So, you know, it's 
just makes it really convenient to have digital thermometer out in the backcountry. You know, a lot of times what you see is, um, you know, we'll bring the the old mercury and it's, you know, oh, it's somewhere between 80 and 85 degrees and, and you're not really sure. There is something that's really nice that you can just see a big readable screen and you know digitally exactly what you're dealing with. So it's kind of nice. I, I It's really grown on me. I, I thought it was kind of a, I don't know, a, a, a trendy luxury kind of thing at first. And I was like, what's the big deal? But I actually kind of like it. It's it's really grown on me. So I will take this with me throughout 22 and, and beyond probably. Um, the other thing to mention is, is the battery lasts, it says 4,000 hours. So, you know, if you, if you turn it off at night or if you just turn it off when you come home from your trips and then you, you know, you head back out on the next trip and power it on just for that, it's going to last you a really, really long time. So that's, that's great. You don't have to worry about you know, running out of batteries in the backcountry. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the cons. And to be honest, for me, there, there's only one big one, and that's the price. For for something like this, to expect, it's listed at twenty two bucks. Twenty two bucks for that seems a little outlandish. So I still ran out and got it. You know, so it's it's definitely a luxury. It's definitely a premium for you know the type of item that you're buying. You can you can buy a, a mercury thermometer for a couple bucks tops, probably even less than that. So you have to really want the features that this has, and they really did hit it out of the park when it comes to just what it can do. But you got to get by that that twenty two bucks. Now, if you sign up, you know, for their email, they give you. Uh, 10% off your first order. So it might be the only thing that you're buying from them and you get it down under under 20 bucks. But to me, it's more of uh, maybe this is a great gift idea. Maybe this is something to buy for, you know, the backpacker, the camper, the hiker in, in your uh, family uh, of your loved ones um, or ask for this yourself for a birthday, for Christmas, for holiday, something like that. Um, or... You know, if you just want to splurge and treat yourself, that's great. You know, uh, I'm not going to beat anybody up about, you know, carrying these around. They're all over the place. Um, so, and I got one. So, you know, if you can get by the sticking point of the cost, which is, in my opinion, probably twice as high as it should be uh, for something like this, I think 10 bucks is probably pretty reasonable. So 20 bucks, that's, that's quite a bit. But that's really the only con that I have, though. Other than that... Um, it's a neat little device. Uh, I, I like having it with me and it's super easy, super convenient, and it works. So maybe, uh, maybe that should be on your list. Check out the thermal drop thermometer. I'll leave, uh, details in the, um, description down below. You know, if you have any questions, uh, leave that in the comments. Do you have one of these already? Uh, if so, uh, what color did you get? There's all these different kind of crazy colors. Uh, you know, I went with orange just because it's visible and bright, but they've got like yellow and green and red and black and blue, all these different ones. So what did you get? Or what would you get if you're going to get one of these things? Would you get one of these things? Or is that just too much, too much in price? I don't know. That's all I got for today. Thanks so much for watching. And uh, until next time, be well. Well, today we're talking about the Zippo, the Zippo, the Hippo Zippo, Zippo Zippo. All right.